What's up everybody, Chat Cats Fishing here. Welcome to today's episode. Today, I have the privilege to fish with my daughter, Kaylee. Say hi. Hi, Zaxby's. <laughs> Zaxby's. Yeah, we may go to Zaxby's uh, for lunch or dinner, we will see. But guys, I am taking my daughter, Kaylee, fishing. It has been a very long time. Kaylee, what are we gonna catch today? A big bluegill? Okay, what else? Um, a big catfish. Big catfish. Yeah, we're gonna try to get a big one today, yeah, guys. We can try to get a bass. Yeah, we can try to get a bass as well. Or we can get a pumpkin fish. Pumpkin fish? You mean like a pumpkin seed? Yeah. We got the anchor rods. Uh, we're probably gonna do some anchor fishing. Do some suspend drifting as well. Uh, so it is Saturday, September 16th, and we are fishing on Nickajack Lake, Chickamauga Dam is that way. So we're going to hit some of our spots and anchor fish it. Hopefully we can get a good fish or two, so stay tuned. Hey Kaylee, can you get me the bait that's in the cooler? Sure. What's the bait? That's called skipjack, and that's what we're going to use today. Yeah, it's it's dead, yeah. Why is it getting dead? Well, because that's what the catfish eat. They eat dead bait. All right, so this is what we're going to be using today, guys. Cut skipjack. This is frozen, um, but it's going to thaw out. And I just usually cut it into chunks. Now, it's pretty frozen right now, so it's a little difficult to cut, but... We're going to be using bigger chunks today. Try to go for a big fish. We're going to be using six ounces of weight today. Everything is Carolina rigged. Typically when I anchor fish, I Carolina rig all my rods. Sometimes I'll use the Santee Cooper rig. Now guys, this setup here is the Santee rig. I'm gonna be using a peg float, which is called a demon dragon. Catfish uh, usually will hit with vibration. Uh, so the rattle, so the rattle right here will entice a catfish to take the bait. Uh, so it can become very effective. All right, guys, we're gonna move spots. Uh, nothing here, but I'm gonna make my way downstream, hit a few other spots, and then probably go through Moccasin Bend, do some drifting down there. So, we will see. Fish on, guys. He's on here. Let's move this. We're going to put your left hand right here. That's okay. 
like, hey, hey, it's okay. It's a big fish you got. This is a big one. I'm going to go and start reeling. Go ahead. I don't want to. Reel. You don't want to? Yeah. You want me to do it? Yeah, and I'll see the Okay, I'll do it. He is big. guys first fish of the day he's probably 10 pounds something like that let's go and release him there he goes back to the depths All right guys, just one fish here, not bad, but we're gonna make our way downstream, do some drifting down on Moccasin Bend, see if we can get a couple, so stay tuned. We're gonna suspend drift, some cut skipjack now. All I do is pitch it out, let it go to the bottom. Once it hits, Give it a couple cranks. Put in the rod holder. bring a free line rod so we're gonna free line a skipjack here this is light tackle
Three is guys, not bad. Not a bad fish. Now guys, that came on the free line rig, just like that. Probably a good solid five or six pounds, guys. I'll take this. Beautiful fish, beautiful fish. Let's go ahead and release them. There we go, he's back to the depths. We ended up calling it quits after catching this fish. Kaylee was getting tired and it was just getting pretty hot outside. I think it was like 87, 88 degrees and it was mid-September. So uh, hopefully the river will pick back up when some of this cooler weather moves in. But give a thumbs up for the video guys and thanks for watching.